most of everything I know didn't come from me sitting down and practicing. I was playing live in bands all the time. Later on, I remember doing my first couple of clinics and I'd be playing and somebody would say, so where's your thumb on your left hand? And I would go, there. <laughs> it's right there, apparently. I, had no, I didn't consciously do it. So I bring that up because I didn't consciously try to uh, create a three-finger technique. I was trying to play music. And I needed more fingers to play the music I needed to play. Uh, the natural motion of your fingers seems to be that direction. If you're nervous about something, generally you'll be that direction, you know. So, so it made sense that... Now, why three instead of four? Three seem to be the same size. They, those are all the same size. This one sticks up a little bit, but it's not... But in fact, there are, when, I, when, I, when I flatten out my hand, and bend my fingers, I can kind of get them flat so that they're flat against the strings there. But basically... Now that's, that's threes. One of three, one of three, one of three, one of three, one of three. Now I'm also trying to get four out of this. I'm getting four with three. So it's just like a drummer had to play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One lands on a different finger each time. So I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, repeat, one, two, three, four. So I'll try to accent the one by accenting a different finger each time to get that group of four. So try and get four out of three. It allows you three fingers to pick with, which means... Uh, so you can generally get a, a fast groupings, and my fingers aren't really moving fast at all. Now a lot of notes are going by, but in fact my fingers aren't moving fast, they're just accordion, I'm just going... One secret trick that when I first realized it, I thought I can never tell anybody this because everybody's going to figure out and I'm going to be out of a gig for sure. Uh, and there's one, and I, I, for years I didn't want, think I should tell anybody, but then again, because I stole everything, I might as well. So I finally decided to reveal the secret trick. And the secret trick is, boy, it got quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> is I'm playing on the pickup. And the string is in the way. Pickup doesn't move. I got the pickup encased in epoxy, locked down in there. So what happens is my fingers always hit the string at the same spot because they never go any farther than that. They drag over and it hits on the same spot every time. So it's a real consistent sound. Right. <laughs> Uh, speed it right along. Don't ever think that um, you are less of a player or that you ha have not accomplished something because you're not using whatever physical techniques you see from some other player. And they're completely unrelated. It really has to do with their note choice and music more than anything else. And, and sometimes we lose our way. We get lost in this technique thing. We're thinking, you know, well, my hands got to be, and, my thought, and there's no music going on. You know, we're, we lost the music thing. So that's why I mentioned at the beginning of this that it did actually come from wanting to play music first and wanting to get those notes out and wanting to get that sound or those tones out. That, that's what drove it. If your goal is just to have amazing technique, you'll probably never get it. But if your goal is just is to be an artist and a player and, and make some incredible music, your technique will follow suit. It'll follow you around like a little wagon dragging behind you and it'll, it'll occasionally catch up to you. And I, I really think that's the way it works. And I, I like to preach about that a lot too because I do think a lot of guys get lost in this, in this technique thing. And they got to play and they got to have three fingers and they got to be able to slap and they got to do the upstroke on their thumb slapping. It's okay. If, if your music is working, it's working. <laughs> Thank you.